In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Gospel according to Matthew chapter 15. A Canaanite woman from that vicinity came to him crying out, Lord, son of David, have mercy on me. My daughter is suffering terribly from demon possession. Jesus did not answer a word. So his disciples came to him and urged him, Send her away, for she keeps crying out after us. He answered, I was sent only to the lost sheep of Israel. The woman came and knelt before him, Lord, help me, she said. She, he replied, It is not right to take the children's bread and toss it to their dogs. Yes, Lord, she said, but even the dogs eat the crumbs that fall from their master's table. Then Jesus answered, Woman, you have great faith. Your request is granted. And her daughter was healed from that very hour. On or around February 23rd in the 2nd century AD, an 86-year-old man named Polycarp was tied to a stake, set aflame, and stabbed. He died a martyr, which means the reason he was killed was because of his faith. He served as a high-ranking official in the Christian church and throughout his 86 years on this earth defended the truths of Christianity. That was not an easy thing to do in the 2nd century A.D. for a number of reasons, not the least of which was the fact that being removed from Jesus' time on this earth by about a hundred years and having no living apostles around anymore, the mantle had to be passed to people who weren't always recognized as having the same sort of authority to teach and preach as their forefathers in the faith. Polycarp was a student of the last living apostle, John the Evangelist, and in like manner clearly spoke to others about the necessity and importance of hearing and believing and living the gospel of Jesus Christ. With some questioning his authority and others seeking to kill him and his Christian brothers and sisters, there were so many obstacles standing in the way of Polycarp hearing and believing, and living that gospel message. The Canaanite woman Jesus spoke to in the gospel account for today also knew something about obstacles which stand in the way of faith. But also, like Polycarp, she knew something about overcoming obstacles. Having a sick daughter isn't something that every Christian struggles with, But every Christian has their own fair share of faith obstacles to overcome, problems with health, finances, love and relationships, or even some habitual sin that you can't seem to shake. While difficulties and obstacles may be different between a Canaanite woman in 30 AD, a Catholic bishop from Smyrna in 130 AD, and you, living in the United States in the 21st century A.D. There is one constant that we all share. We all have the same source and object of faith that overcomes those obstacles. Because the bread of life tossed himself to the sinful dogs and dregs of society, you know that you have a Savior who loves you. Because the Lord has helped you, and given you the medicine of grace which cures your sin sickness, you know that you will not die but live forever. Because the Son of David has overcome the demons of this world in his perfect life, innocent death, and immensely powerful resurrection, you know that no matter how hard those demonic desires try to tempt you, you do not have to fall prey anymore. Polycarp is recognized on this day for welcoming the flames of being burned at the stake rather than welcoming the eternal flames of hell. He did not do so simply to avoid hell, but because his faith was strong enough to realize and remember what awaited him when the pains and sufferings of this life were over. No matter what your sufferings, 
no matter for how long you have endured and experienced them, no matter how often or how intensely they attack you. Your God has given you the gift to overcome them. He has given you Jesus and the faith that trusts him above all other things in this world. Let us pray. Why should cross and trial grieve me? Christ is near with his cheer. Never will he leave me. Who can rob me of the heaven that God's Son for my own to my faith has given? Though a heavy cross I'm bearing, and my heart feels the smart, shall I be despairing? God my helper, who doth send it, well doth know all my woe, and how best to end it. In Jesus' name, amen.